Hi, I'm your instructor, Gregory Moses. I'm taking 3.4 number two. So we've got a, dis a position function, s equals 6t minus p squared and t is on an interval from zero to six. So in part A, we want the displacement and the average velocity. And the displacement just tells you how far the object has moved. So to find the displacement, we just look at where the object is at the end of this interval, minus where the object is at the beginning of this interval, s of 6 minus s of 0. So I make the displacement out to be zero. Now the velocity is the rate of change of the position. So when you're looking for an instantaneous velocity, it's the derivative of the position. If you're looking for an average velocity, that is the average rate of change of the position. And zero, we calculated this numerator up here. Zero divided by six is zero. What are our units here? meters per second, and displacement is a distance, so its units are meters. B. This, uh, this problem never asks for the velocity function v of t, but to do part b, we need to find that because B is asking about speed and acceleration, and speed is the absolute value of the velocity, and acceleration is the derivative of the velocity. So whether the problem uses the word or not, we do need to find the velocity function to do b. And the derivative of 6t is 6. Here we use the power rule, t squared to 2t. And it's at and speed, which I don't have a standard letter for, but It's the absolute value of the velocity. This problem isn't asking us for the speed function in general. It's asking us for the speed at the end points. So at zero and at six. At zero, the absolute value of six is six meters per second. At six, um, six minus twelve. You 
but the absolute value, yeah, that was supposed to be an absolute value sign. It made that look like a 6t in it. The absolute value of negative 6 is again a positive 6. The acceleration, it asks us for the acceleration at the end points. Well, the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity. So, six turns to zero, negative two t turns to negative two. The acceleration is constant. So, in particular, at zero and six, the acceleration is negative two. Part C is asking when, if ever, this object changes direction. So the direction depends on the velocity. If um, the velocity is positive or going in the positive direction, which if we've got a horizontal number line would be to the right, the velocity is negative or going in the negative direction. So the velocity, there are, I guess, multiple ways you could sort of think about this. The velocity is 6 minus 2t. So the velocity is a straight line with a negative slope. It's zero when t equals three. To the left of t, the velocity is positive and the object is going right. To the right of this t of three, the velocity is now under the gap. Access, it's negative, and the object is going to the left. So the object changes from moving to the right to moving to the left at three seconds. 